we've got the highlights from the Flight 3 playoff of the Denver Men's Senior City Amateur with Brian Cordy hitting a big shot down the right fairway. Um, he would be followed by Patrick Wallace. These two would battle it out. For the third flight championship, Wallace hits a sizable one down the left side. He's feeling good. He gives a nice little nod to the camera and heads up to his second shot. This would be the third playoff of the day four total. Um, only three were played because somebody left at one of them, but here's one of them that we were playing, and Cordy would hit a big shot towards the green. He would end up on the green, but a little bit to the right, um, leaving a lot of work left um, to finish this hole. Whereas Wallace sent it directly at the pin, sent it a little bit further past the hole, but I mean, it was right there. Cordy with a chance to win it, and he ends up just skimming the left side with the ball there. He would put it away for a four and a par on hole one. Wallace with a chance to win it right here. He sends the putt in, and he just misses it to the right. With a chance to tie it, he puts that away and forces a second hole in the playoff. Cordy would end up sending it directly towards the green and leaving it just short. Whereas Wallace would also send it to the green, but he would put it on the green. Cordy would then putt onto the green from the fairway and just not quite getting enough on there. Leaves quite a bit left on that last putt as well. Wallace, with the chance to win, ends up putting it just to the right again. Cordy, to keep his day alive, ends up flushing one from about six feet, and Wallace would then have to put this one away. It's not a huge putt for Wallace, but just enough to keep it interesting. He would end up lipping it around, but finishing it. it. Sent shivers down his spine and everybody's spine that was watching. A big smile from Wallace heading on to hole three. Cordy would then smash one down to the left side of the fairway on the third hole of this playoff. Wallace would send one very far to the right. Very, very far indeed. And we would end up heading out there to see where would that ball be? Where was Cordy? Cordy ended up being in a decent position out there. Wallace ended up getting the search party out looking for his ball. Everybody was out looking for this one. I mean, this is a playoff, so this was huge. Um, unfortunately, after the three minutes, that ball was not located. And so Wallace was given a chance to concede or to go back and hit another shot taking the penalty swing. Um, he wasn't giving up for anything, so he headed back to the green for his tee shot again. Stroke three was going to be right down the center into the fairway, but then his fourth shot would then trail off to the left. Now, there's only one camera following these guys, and so we missed Cordy's second shot, unfortunately. It left him way over here on the left with a tree in front of him, so he needed to do a big punch out, which he would. And he punches it, and it rolls, and that ball would continue to roll rolling way over the backside of the green. This was not ideal and he knew it. Wallace, on his next approach, would send it directly towards the green but leave it just short. And for Wallace's sixth shot, he would chip on. And given the circumstances, that is a great chip. But Cordy is in the driver's seat. All he needs is a decent shot. And that ball would get up on the green and it would have zero breaks again, rolling way to the back, leaving a massive putt to try to put this away. He would need an excellent lag putt, try to get it close and just put it away. And with all the pressure on, he did exactly that. He put the ball within inches of the cup, leaving a little tap in to become the third flight champion of the Denver Senior Men's City Amateur.